Hello everyone, RaptorX here. As you can see, I'm back in FTB, ready for another episode. And as you can see, I've changed a few more things around here. Uh, namely, I changed the path. Um, <clears throat> apparently there's this new block uh, with extra utilities called Gravel Brick. It's pretty much gravel in a 4x4. And it's a bit more resistant than uh, regular gravel, so it's nice. And that way, uh, if anything happens, uh, it, uh, you know, it resists a little bit better. It's not much better. Uh, actually, you don't pick it up with a shovel, you pick it up with a pick now. Uh, since so it's a little bit more resistant over here, I actually made a little uh, nether wart farm with uh, some nether. I mean, some warts I picked up from the nether. Um, so it's nice and put away here in case I ever need them. I'm not really sure. Don't think I'm gonna be making potions anytime soon, but uh, just in case. Um, let's see what else have I done. I changed this. Um, oh, crap. Hmm. That's not good. Oh, let me see if I can grab it from this side. All right. Yeah, it's uh, it's marble, so it's very fragile. Not uh, not the most resistant of my materials, but it looks nice. Um, also, oh, forgot to mention this. Um, <clears throat> I found this in a chest. Uh, I think it was in a temple that I found it. Or was it in a village? Huh, I forgot where I got them. But um, these are ender lily seeds. Um, you know, you can plant them anywhere on grass as well. But uh, I read up in Reddit that uh, you can plant them on uh, end stone and uh, they'll grow faster and they actually give you an ender pearl uh, once it's fully grown. This one's not quite fully grown. It's almost there I think. It's one more stage and it will be fully grown. Um, I read that, it, that if it, you plant it on the grass it takes a, a week uh, <clears throat> of in game obviously not like an actual in real life week because that will take forever. Uh, but yeah, a week in game so it's about four and a half hours. Uh, but uh, apparently it's a lot faster at endstone, and I've actually already picked up one batch of ender pearls, so it's definitely paying off. I mean, um, endermen are not so easy to come by, unless you obviously go into the end and then start farming them for uh, ender pearls. So that's a, uh, uh, you know, it's a nice al alternative. It's really slow, so it's not something you can steadily uh, farm for it. I uh, also got some berries here to decorate a little bit, um, a little castle kind of. Uh, not really sure what they're called. Uh, but it makes it look like a castle, so I liked it. Um, now, inside, I've made quite a few changes. Um, as you can see, my armor's all kind of beat up, and uh, I actually got my armor already prepared here. Nice set of uh, new armor. Actually, um, I got uh, some some of the steel stuff that uh, I had been finding around, and I enchanted that instead of the iron. Uh, red is a, a little bit more resistant, so that's uh, nice. So let me just put my stuff out, switch it out. Here we go. Alright, so, new set of armor. This should last me a bit until uh, something better comes around. Um, not really sure. I'll think of something once uh, this armor starts taking a beating. Um, I was like, actually taking quite a beating when I went to another and actually died once um, when I was collecting some uh, quartz to make uh, the staircase here. And I explained what's going on here because, as you can see, a lot has changed. Uh, but uh, yeah, I was collecting a lot of quartz. Um, to make the staircase maybe because I like the way it looks because uh, apparently you can't make it uh, stairs out of uh, quarried blocks or um, marble so and the only other white block that I know of that you can make nice stairs out of is uh, quartz but that meant I had to go back to the nether and collect a bunch of quartz and um, I found uh, a blaze spawner and I just wanted to collect a few blaze rods just in case and uh, yeah my helmet and my uh, boots broke um, and I just got like gangbang but three blazes at the same time that spawned in and I didn't realize my armor was gone so I died so I had to quickly run back with no armor and uh, luckily grabbed my stuff and ran away uh, so no losses there but uh, it was a bit of a scare um, I wasn't recording so nothing I could show you guys unfortunately uh, right so changes around the base as you can see I've moved stuff around all my chests are gone from here uh, my bed is here temporarily uh, so is this temporarily um, this staircase goes up here. It's actually still a work in progress. Um, not much going on in here, thanks to a creeper that blew up. Um, this is a staircase that's supposed to turn here and go up this way, that direction. Um, but, uh, yeah. Apparently there's a cave above here, a cave system. A very small cave system, I already lit it up, and I uh, didn't notice that, and two creepers came down. I saw the first one, killed them, and then the second one dropped behind me, and, uh, made this mess here so I haven't fixed it up yet um, I have to fill everything back in and I uh, just put this in here just in case even though I already checked the F7 
and nothing should be spawning over there. But uh, hopefully for next episode I should have everything ready. Um, actually, let me, uh, you guys, let me know in the comments how much of the construction you guys want to actually see. Uh, I've been doing a lot of stuff between episodes mainly because I have a lot of time. Uh, I had a lot of time this weekend. I'm not sure how this week is going to be. But um, but yeah, the problem with that is that a lot of the time when I have free time, I can't record because it's really noisy around my house. The only time I can actually record is late at night when you know everything's nice and quiet. Um, but uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see. Maybe I can record. Maybe do a, a time lapse or something of uh, some of the things I've been doing around the house. As you can see, I've been doing a lot of work thanks to my uh, hammer time, <laughs> my uh, my hammer from Tinker's Construct. I got it with auto repair and reinforced too. Um, so it's nothing really fancy here. Um, it's all the head and the two plates are made out of uh, cobalt, so it's pretty fast. I would like to get some haste on it, that way I can make it even faster, but I don't have any redstone. Uh, I'm actually really low on redstone. I was down mining, but I couldn't find any. Um, I was down maybe between level 10 and 25, around there. And I'm pretty sure that's where it spawns, but I couldn't find any redstone. I have to find maybe a, a new cave system or something. Uh, I made myself the excavator. Uh, this is nice. Uh, it's kind of like the hammer, except uh, it's with dirt and sand and stuff like that. It mines in a 3x3. And I got pretty much the same setup here. Uh, reinforced to auto repair. I actually got it writable. That's because this one you actually have a bind. So I put the obsidian. Um, let me show you guys here. And I'll get back to what I was showing you over there before. I did upgrade my tool forge. Like, a, like I mentioned I would. Um, so let's see. Uh, excavator, right. So you have a plate and a shovel head. But then you also have a bind and a tough tool rod. Something you don't have with, uh, with the hammer. You don't have that extra... Bind, uh, to, uh, what is it called? The the, the tough bind? Where is it? it? Doesn't show me where it is. I think it's called a tough bind, and uh, you don't have that here, so unfortunately you can't have the extra um, perk, I guess, or because uh, it's not a modification. Because modifications is the ones you do after you build the, the thing, but you can actually get little perks and uh, traits, I guess, from uh, the materials you use. And with the shovel, since I had uh, obsidian as a bind, I used uh, paper. As a as a rod, that way it gives me an extra uh, modification. But obviously, you know, I always do that for some reason. Come on, let me show you guys real quick here. Um, I just got moss, and I still have three uh, modifiers remaining, so that's nice. Um, this guy, on the other hand, only have two modifiers remaining. I'm hoping to get it um, with uh, at least haste. I don't know about wasting any lapis on this, it doesn't make any much sense, so I might go all out and do two hastes, that way I can really mine really fast and uh, that would be nice. Uh, auto repair is nice, that way it keeps the, uh, the, the durability at bay, and I actually almost forgot here, the durability on this thing is insanely high, not only is it because it has so much material uh, for the head, but I actually went ahead and uh, started flying around looking for a uh, blue slime, I looked in this area over here, on the map, uh, this, this is pretty flat. This area, and I, I was hoping to get some uh, blue slimes or something spawning in here, because they usually spawn in the overworld. Uh, I couldn't find any swamps, um, but uh, but yeah, nothing spawned here. So I started flying around, and I found this little island right here. Um, it's made out of slime dirt, and uh, there's a slime tree. But the slime tree will only give me green slimes. And if you guys remember in the uh, Modifications for the, for the, um, I guess the perks for the for the material. Blue slime is a lot better than the green slime. So I went around and I found which one was it? I think it, I'm not think I don't think it's this one. But there's another one. Hmm. Oh right, it's way over here. Yeah. Uh, this one. So as as you can see, I've been doing a lot of exploring. This this is a nice area right here, actually. This is um, magical forest, I believe it is. So it's got a, a lot of um, uh, what's the thumbcraft tree called? I forgot the blue one, the the one that has all the sparkles and stuff. I, I forgot the name right now. But either way, this is a really nice biome. Um, this village is really small. Had nothing interesting in it. Uh, but it had this one. It's pretty much the same island that floats in the air. It has the green uh, slime tree and stuff. But it had a lake in the middle. And the lake was completely surrounded with this blue, blue green, um, not blue, congealed blue slime. 
And uh, I actually kept a few of these, so just so I can show you guys. If you grab one of these, and you can just pick it up with a shovel, it gives you four of the blue slimes. And you only need four to make one of these uh, slime crystals. As you can see, I got a bunch of them. Um, I actually already used them up on the on the hammer. And I don't know if I used them on anything else. But uh, but yeah, I used them on the hammer, and it gave me, obviously, the, the two times modifier on the handle, and it has, a, I think, like 2,000 uh, durability. So that's why this one will last me forever, pretty much. And obviously, I only use it mainly for when I'm doing uh, rooms and stuff like that. So, right, I've spent a lot of time talking already. Right, so, some of the changes I've made. Uh, I mentioned uh, a few episodes ago that I wanted to open up this room across here. And uh, this is going to be my machine room. Here I'm going to have all my industrial craft machines. I'm going to actually get started also on uh, thermal expansion and get some uh, thermal expansion energy especially because I can use uh, the rest of the energy cells for uh, quarries and um, uh, the fillers and stuff like that that are really useful for building and so forth and also collecting materials. So I definitely need to get at least something with thermal expansion. That way I can get some uh, decent uh, power going with uh, energy cells and stuff forth. Uh, in Dust Craft, I want, to be, I want it to be my main thing, but I noticed there's no advanced machine mod. Uh, I was looking for the Rotary Macerator, and uh, it doesn't exist. I mean, it's not in the mod pack, apparently. So I'm not sure if it's not compatible, if it's not ready for 1.64 right yet. Uh, if it is, I'll probably add it on my own, uh, because I really think it's an important... Uh, mod to have with industrial craft uh, so I'll look into it see what I can do with it and here's my other room here's actually where I moved all my chests I actually labeled everything nicely got a bunch of iron chests here for all the stuff uh, you know wood organics mob drops so forth I won't bore you guys with every single uh, label um, but you know this putting my crafting tables here in the middle of the room actually helps so I don't have to be running around all over the place I have one here and one in the main room over there so, you know, whenever I need to craft something, I just go right in the middle of the room. It's nice and quick. Uh, I actually made a little shortcut here because uh, I noticed that pretty much since I have the um, enchantment room over here, man, that rain is really loud. Uh, man, my sound's already pretty low, too. Alright, there you go. The, the cows and the rain was driving me insane there. Right, so, um, because the enchantment room was here, I couldn't make an actual entrance to the the storage room, I guess. So I had to kind of walk all the way around. So this really just helps get around. You know, it's a nice little shortcut. I don't know how long it's going to last. Because if I start running uh, uh, pipes and cables and stuff be behind the wall here for the machines, I'm going to have to close this off. Uh, because, uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, utilized for something else. This has been working fine. Actually, the only change I made here is actually I put it to 15 seconds now. Because uh, I noticed that apparently different materials have different cooling times, and uh, the the glass has a, a lot shorter cooling time than uh, let's say like iron or any other metals. And I found that 15 seconds uh, covers pretty much all of them pretty nicely, and uh, I processed a lot of my ores uh, with lava, which is nice because uh, these machines are like I said it's rather slow unless I get uh, unless I put a bunch of overclockers on them. Um, it's not really a good deal here. I actually gotta go grab my wrench and um, actually the first thing I want to do this episode now that I covered all the random things I've been doing around the house um, downstairs I actually have another room the size of this one so I've been doing a lot of digging and a lot of building um, that's where I'm gonna have all my power uh, I usually have it laid out the same way I'm pretty much in every series I've done I usually have the power underneath the machines it's just the logical thing to do uh, well, eventually, I'll probably open up another room underneath this one, which I currently don't have. And that's where I'm going to have all my plant and logistic stuff. Because I do want to get into that uh, pretty soon here, as soon as I get some kind of automated uh, uh, mining uh, done. Because then, obviously, I'm going to have a lot of things coming in, and I need to get all this stuff processed and so forth. So, the first thing I want to do, actually, and I'm pretty sure I can do that over here, because I have all my stuff here now, is I need some ender pearls, um, mob drops. And uh, like I said, I already collected a few of these. Um, I want to make four actually. So I don't know. I don't know how much wool I have. Um, where's my wool? Well, I guess it's organic. I guess organic wool. <laughs> uh, you can make these guys. They're pretty, pretty nifty. Uh, I think I saw them somewhere. I saw them. I don't know who used them. I think it might have been Direwolf. I'm not sure. Either way, elevators. Really useful stuff. Um, I'll show you guys how it works pretty nicely. 
and I already have the hole here all set up for it so I'm just gonna put one here and I'm just gonna dig around it there we go and then dig straight down and I know it's safe because I dug it out so as you can see here the room is nice lit up already it's uh, made out of cobble and uh, stone bricks I think it gives it more of a basement fi uh, feel and it's gonna have a lot of machinery that I'm probably not gonna be checking on very often uh, after I have it all set up so I'm just gonna I have a quick access to here so I don't have to worry about it and all you have to do is hit spacebar to jump and boom you're gone and then just hit shift to uh, go down obviously it's not much of a, of, a, of a ride you could easily put some stairs here if you don't have any ender pearls but uh doesn't beat this it's a lot quicker and uh, it's a lot cooler so why not do it since I have those ender ladies uh, supplying me with a uh, I want to say infinite, um, infinite ender pearls, but uh, they're rather slow. But uh, but yeah, it works. Now, what I'm thinking of using the other two for, at least for now, is um, I have this right here. This uh, entrance downstairs to where I have my uh, ore bushes. So I'm thinking of just making an entrance with this thing. What do you guys think? Um, I'm thinking. Ooh. You know what? I want to sleep. Maybe the rain goes away. Because uh, it's making it rather annoying to uh, talk over the thunder. Right, so I have that. I'll uh, take that out of the way. Oops. Hold on. That was a f very failed jump on my end. I actually have to remove that as well. Um, so I'm going to put some dirt there. Let's see what else I need. I need some dirt. I need some more stone bricks. So this is why I made this little shortcut. That way I can save a little bit of time. Not much. Obviously, from where I was, I could have easily gone the other way. Uh, made no difference. So let me just grab a bit of dirt. Um, should be more dirt. And some more stone bricks. There we go. And I think that should do it. I think that's all I need. Actually, I need some... Uh, Ooh, where am I going? Other quarried stone blocks. I wonder if I have any ready. Yeah, I do. Good. Right. I probably won't need any, but if we put that there, dirt there, and then I just have to cover this part with um, stone brick. How high does it go? Is that it? I think it is. There you go. It's not too bad. There you go. And the, the cool thing about this is that since it's uh, it's a block, it blocks all the light. And uh, look at that. That's really dark. And that way all my ores, or berries I should say, will grow just fine. So I'm just going to remove this ladder. I uh, apologize if you guys can't see anything. I realize that YouTube actually makes things a little bit darker than uh, usual anyway, so I'm trying to get... I should probably put a torch just for you guys so you can see what's going on down here. Um, so, elevator set. Oh. Hmm. What is going on? Why you not work? Hmm, this is going to be a pain. I don't have a regular shovel. Alright, we just going to have to remove you. I wonder if maybe this does anything. Hmm. Well, I'm going to have to remove the dirt with uh, by hand. There you go. just need to get access there back in and you can put the torch a little bit off to the side here so it, does, it doesn't get in the way all right that's working now not sure what happened there might have been the torch that was in the way um, because uh, it was in the in, in the space I should have been into so I guess it didn't want to spawn me in in case it will suffocate me like that there was a block here um, it was picking it up as if it was a regular block because it just teleported me in there I would suffocate him 
I don't know if I will die, but I'll definitely hit, hit me for a few hearts. Right, so here's where my ore berries are. This is all the iron ore berries, uh, copper, and aluminum. And it just, you know, you find them when you're mining, and you need complete darkness for them to grow. So it's just a nice place to keep them, at least for now. Mm, so that works rather well. And, uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. Now, let's see. I need to move some machines around. So I'm going to put some stuff away from my inventory. Uh, I'm actually already at 20 minutes. I've been talking a lot. Um, so let's see. Building blocks. Some gravel, some stone brick, cobble, dirt, cord, stone. Wood. That's a wooden ladder. Alrighty. Tools chest. I need my wrench. And I need... What else do I need? I think that's all I need for now. Right, so I'm probably going to I have to end it here because uh yeah it's a bit late already in the episode and uh what i'm gonna do is um when i finish the room upstairs i'll just give you guys a quick walkthrough next time around but uh what i really want to get into as soon as possible in that next episode is building some machines i'll probably go mining again uh and i've been processing most of my ores uh with the uh, tinker's smelter anyways so it's not like i'll miss the electric furnace. I, I rarely use it. I only use it mainly for like cooking up stone and uh, this quarried blocks. As you can see, my I'm doing pretty good for metals. Uh, got a few stacks of iron. Actually got what, five? Five and a little bit more. Um, got a lot of silver, so I'll probably stop stop mining silver. I'm not really sure what I can use it for. Um, probably like uh, thermal expansion and stuff like that I could use it for. Lots of lead. So I want to focus on iron, um, copper, even though I have a lot of copper as well, a few stacks. And uh, as you can see, I have already over two stacks, well, two stacks of Certus Quartz, which is what I need for Platter Logistics. And uh, I'm doing pretty good on that. Um, redstone, really low on, so I want to get uh, quite a bit before next episode. It's probably for the best. That way I can uh, really work through and uh, get a lot of the work done with uh, building new machines, uh, macerator, uh, extractor especially, so I can get better rubber. Well, not better rubber, it's the same rubber, but I'd be more efficient with the uh, sticky resin I have. And uh, yeah, so until next time, guys, bye.